here in Wisconsin, land of beer, cheese, and real life dystopian technology that's gonna control your every move. Her Wisconsin-based company, Three Square Market, announced its plans to install rice-sized microchips in its employees. That's right. This company is shoving microchips into their employees, and this movement is spreading worldwide. In Sweden, thousands already have microchip implants that they use in their daily lives. Next thing you know, we'll all be chipped. I'm gonna pull a Harriet Tubman and free these white people. Wait, you know what I mean. I had to put an end to this evil technology before it dominates us all. The removal wasn't gonna be pretty, but luckily I spent a summer working as an unlicensed proctologist. Hey, Psst. bend over. I'm here to extract your chip. God. What are you talking about? The chip, the chip that they put in you. I'm here to take it out. I volunteered. You volunteered? Yeah. What? Hey, who else volunteered to get this chip? Isn't you, black dude? Come on, man. So I sat face to face with the man responsible for running a company of chipped employees. So where exactly is this chip implanted? It's right there. That's not where I thought y'all put it. Where did you think I put it? That's, that's not important. So how did you convince your employees to let you brainwash them into getting chips in their hands? Because they saw that we could do something that, that truly could just change the world. I literally can, with the swipe of the hand, do anything. You can start your car with it. You can make payments, unlock doors. I've been able to unlock doors my whole life. I just go like this, it's easier. Don't you think y'all are helping people become more lazy? We already swipe everything. I swipe on my phone to meet these menses. I already pay with my phone. Why do I need a chip in my hand? I'm never gonna forget my hand, it's always there. Hands are really easy to lose. We've all been near a wood chipper, too close to an industrial fan. Let's put it this way. What if I could save your life? Let's say you have a heart issue. Let's say you have diabetes. What about dementia? What about a senior citizen to give them the peace of mind that at all times we know where they are, that we can look at all their vital That's signs? That's a life alert, Patrick. <laughs> we like... already did this. The lady's falling and she can't get up. Push the button. Somebody come get me. But if that person's passed out, they're not able to push that button. Wow, that may have been an excellent point. I wasn't fully convinced. This is the only chip I want in my body, Patrick. Mm. So good. Just wait till you see what it can do. What can it do? You can buy snacks with a scan of your hand? Holy shit, it works! Now, I know this chip initially scared the hell out of me. Go! Ah! Seeing it in action? It's a game changer. How do I get me one of these? So basically, we'll just clean it with this prep stick. And then what I'll do is, when I'm ready, I'll push it in insert the chip itself, pull it out, and then I'll put the cap back on and we are all done. Give me one, give me one. I was entering a new life where anything was possible. Like swiping right and left on men in real life. <laughs> Having doors open for me. This was the future. But according to tech journalist Ian Schur, I made a big mistake. There's a lot of stuff we need to think about where this is going and what could happen as a result of it. Let me tell you how my life has changed since I've gotten this chip. I can get snacks with the wave of a hand. I can start a car as soon as I buy a car. All of this is great. You need to get on board with being a hater, playboy. And that may be the case, but whenever you put a foreign object into your body, it can be dangerous. Not all objects. <laughs> Look, Ian, think about how much time I'm saving. And 20 years, I probably saved five to eight minutes. My point is that you have to actually take it out if you want to take it out. I never thought about removing it. Would this be like a 127 hour situation? I mean, that's what you get for hiking by yourself, James Franco. That's not the point. What are like the worst, worst case scenarios? Well, people could go to extreme lengths to get your information and you could get charged for stuff that you didn't intend to buy. This is hackable. People could steal your information. You may not even know when it's being accessed or for what. People will be able to track you. People are crazy. Someone could cut your hand off to use your chip. Because it's implanted, you can't get away from it. Wait. Oh my God. I mean, this is the worst episode of Black Mirror ever. And I saw the one with the pig. I mean, stealing other people's chips? You gotta lose your hand and your car? Or worst of all, you think you're just dancing, but you're buying items you put in your shopping cart when you were drunk. <gasps> yeah. Maybe this will be the norm in the future and everyone will have a chipped hand. But right now, 
I'm not ready to be tracked or hacked. <sighs> I have to get rid of this thing. Give me strength, Jesus! <sighs> oh, it hurts! Why is that so bad? Maybe because I stuck a knife in my 